Hi, I'm gonna do a quick little haul from Burlington because today we went shopping for our baby and we got a whole bunch of like cute, really, uh, really cute stuff. So I'm gonna show the video. I have to sit down for this though because this baby is heavy. So we got a bunch of stuff that um, we needed last minute things. So let's start with this box, right? I mean, this bag right here. We got a bottle and a nipple brush that you can, uh, ha it has a little suction cup at the bottom, suction thing. <laughs> so you just, and it just air dries, which is very good because we don't want no bacteria. We got this bath sling. We don't have anything to bathe her in yet. So we thought that this would be like a really good start and it seems small for a little newborn. It was cute, so we got that one. We got this safety kit. It's a, well, it's a healthcare and grooming. Just a little hairbrush and the booger sucker, nail trimmer, nail clipper, a comb, and the thermometer, so very much needed. We got some more bottles because apparently you can't have enough bottles when you have a baby and we're actually trying out different types of bottles. I think right now we have maybe four different kinds of bottles to see which one works best for her, which one doesn't make her colicky. Hopefully she's not a colicky baby, but we got another set that's supposed to be anti-colic for that, uh, for her. So hopefully she likes them. Hopefully she likes all of the ones that we already have. That way we don't have to buy more. <laughs> we got this, um, anti-tip like for the furniture so it's supposed to just hold your furniture back for when they become toddlers or just uh, grabbing everything pulling everything towards them we got this um, also because we needed it and we're not gonna need it anytime soon i'm sure but it was super super cheap so we got it might as well we got some little socks for her these are so freaking cute. They're so fluffy. And we literally only have two pairs of socks for her right now. So we got these, uh, this set of six. And I know we're gonna need more, but these are good for now. For the more fun stuff, we got her outfits. We got this outfit right here with the pants. And it has little ra a boho rainbow and suns all over it. So cute. It comes with a bandana too. I loved it. This was the, f this one was the first one that I saw as soon as we went into the store and I fell in love with it immediately. She's not gonna fit into it anytime soon, but she will in a couple months. We'll have it ready for her. So hopefully in the cooler months, like I think by January maybe, She'll fit into this and it's super cute. Look at that. It's like a really soft corduroy material, I think. I think that's what it's called. We got her this one, another one with the pants and a bandana. I love that it has those, um, that print of flowers. They're so cute and it's just white, adorable. Oh my gosh, this one is so, so cute. I mean, they all are. <laughs> But every time I see one of these, look at those shorts. I get so excited for them because they're so cute. It, ha it has a little hat and the shorts is what got me and the colors because the shorts, like they have little buttons and they're so freaking tiny and useless, you know, but they're cute. We got her one of these onesies because it's a two-way, it's a two-way zipper onesie and the color is really pretty the print is very kind of basic but you know it works for her footy pajamas keep her warm in the first couple months oh my gosh i think this is my favorite one look at this one it's a little blue romper blue is has always been my favorite color and i've been wanting to get her a blue outfit and it actually matches my dress right now so I can wear this and she can wear this and we'll be matching. But it's so pretty. It has the little buttons in the front and it comes with a hat. Sunny. And I just love this color combination. It's like blue with brown, brownish, yellowish. It's so pretty. I love it for the girl. That's it for the outfits, but we did get some bibs 
a lot of bibs actually we didn't have any at all and i saw these first because they are punny literally punny like puns and considering my um what is what's the freaking word oh my gosh pregnancy brain is really getting me right now or now towards the end of my pregnancy considering my work history slash career history food it's like a foodie theme look at all those look at all those vegetables and then that one it says you brock my world <laughs> i love punny food puns funny food funny food puns and then this one says feeling good for my head to my toes like tomatoes tomatoes so i have to get her that one because of course it's so fun it, they're funny and then i just got her we just got her a pack of like softer ones they're also bigger and just random colors and then a hooded towel with washcloths i had seen online that this really cute yellow duckling bath towel i think it was and i really liked it and then when we saw this at the store i said yes please and we only had a few washcloths for her so we got her that and then i found this one it's a 12 pack of washcloths which again i feel like you can't really have too many of the washcloths because you know nobody wants to be doing laundry every two minutes we got her this bathrobe how freaking cute is that the bathrobe oh my goodness it has a hood of course and the material is like a towel obviously there was really really pretty ones like other cute ones that were more of the style that i wanted to get her but they were the fluffy ones and this is more like a towel and i feel like this would do the job better so we got her this one and llamas are really cute it's really pink and girly i believe that is everything that we got for her we just got some plates for us some dinner plates that were so nice we got the shelves that i just showed you and we got these big boys pillows mainly for my husband but it's one for me and one for him so that's everything hi um so today's monday and we got some pretty crazy news today at the doctor <laughs> i can't believe i'm gonna say this but baby girl will be here by the end of this week oh my god <laughs> i can't believe it <laughs> it's so crazy okay so i'm in her room it's not even done yet but we just need a few more touches we did clean up most of it and hi sunny girl and hopefully we will get that done by tomorrow because uh, we don't know what day uh, she's going to be here so my doctor told me that I am going to my doctor told me that I'm gonna get induced and that to me is just so surreal it's so crazy <laughs> he said that he wants me to get induced this week to have the baby by the end of the week I don't know what days he's gonna plan it w with my other doctor so we're gonna find out tomorrow and we're just gonna have that scheduled and i am so nervous and scared and happy and excited oh my gosh i just wanted to take a nap <laughs> it's like one of those things where you have so much to do that you just want to take a nap <laughs> that's what it feels like but also not because i want to get everything done basically so my husband and i jerry and i are like Okay, it's go time. We need to finish what we need to finish. And hopefully we're going to finish all that stuff by tomorrow. It's not too much, but you know, it's just like last minute things. Like this. It doesn't look, it, it looks like a lot, but it's not. This is stuff that I had uh, mentioned earlier in the video that I'm going to take to the hospital and then these are things that just need to be put away. It's a bunch of baby bottles and um, nursing uh, stuff right there. So I need to wash that and sanitize it 
and just do like that little basket of laundry for her stuff. So yeah, oh, and the shelves. We haven't put up the shelves yet. We came into a little bit of a hiccup there with the electrical, so we need to figure that out soon. And by that I mean tonight or tomorrow. But like I said, not that she's even gonna be in her room because she's not, she's gonna be staying in our room with us. But I wanna have her room ready and just, you know, uh, not have to worry about it for a while in case my mom or I don't know, a family member decides to help us out with the baby. They'll have a space to sleep in because we also brought the guest bed in here. I need to fix that too because there's blankets everywhere. But yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. And <laughs> It's not what I expected to hear from the doctor going in today. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Oh man, I'm so nervous and a little scared, but I'm so excited. I can't believe she's gonna be out of this belly. She's gonna be out of this belly sooner than we ever thought that she would be. On Wednesday, I'll be 37 weeks. The doctor said, you know, you're full term. It's totally fine to get her out. And um, everything's fine with the baby. Everything's fine with me, but there was a little bit of uh, a weight, I wouldn't say issue, but concern maybe. A little bit of a weight concern on her part that he would prefer not to see. So since I am full term, he's gonna just, I guess, pop her out. And he said that we're gonna, you know, feed her her calories outside of the womb, separate from the placenta and Hopefully, God willing, everything is perfectly fine after that. She should be getting all her nutrients outside of the womb um, normally. So, yeah, she's like half a pound underweight, which is a little sad to hear. But he said that it could be genetics. And maybe it is because I was a small baby. I was born at six pounds. And my brother-in-law, he was a small baby too. He was a preemie actually. So it could be genetic, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see, oh my gosh. <laughs> I might be doing a video, my first video with a baby after this one. I mean, who knows when I'm gonna post this video because Oh my gosh, everything's happening so fast, I feel. But at least in these past couple weeks, in this last trimester, everything's been happening super fast. And that's so crazy. I feel like the whole the whole pregnancy's been pretty slow and pretty, I wouldn't say chill, cause it's been tough. It's been tough for me, but it's been pretty slow. And then just the third trimester was like, boom, boom, boom. Everything happening now all at once. I'm gonna be a mom. I'm gonna be officially a mom. This baby's gonna make me a mom. <laughs> this baby's gonna make me change diapers 24 seven, lose so much sleep, and I'm excited for it. She's making me excited for it. I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> My little teeny tiny baby. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> I gotta get back to doing all the things that I need to do for her. That's it, I guess. I guess I can end my video here. It's been a pretty long video, maybe? I don't even know what I've recorded, to be honest, but I'll end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, whoever watched this, and I will hopefully be making another video soon after because I enjoy it. It's, it's pretty fun to just record or film little bits and pieces throughout the week and post them on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you to whoever finished this video. I appreciate you so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Please pray for me because I am scared of giving birth. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll include a clip, like just an overview of what the room, her nursery looks like once those shelves are up already at the end of this video, just so you can see the final product. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.
Okay. <laughs> um, my phone is not going to hold up too far, too long. But so we just got back from the doctor. I just got back. My love went to work. And I'm getting induced tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I'm literally going to cry. So we uh we got an appointment at the hospital for tomorrow at 11 p.m oh my gosh we're gonna be there all night long the doctor today she told us that it's gonna be a long night it's gonna be a long process she said so yeah it's it starts tomorrow night everything so she said i would suggest that you eat a good meal <laughs> she said eat whatever you want because um, she said because I know that you've been on a diet because of your gestational diabetes this whole time. So I got me some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I don't think I once craved Chick-fil-A at all. I've, I had I had been wanting just like a regular deli sandwich. But for some reason, Chick-fil-A was like in my mind as soon as she told me that. And I'm going to eat it now with no remorse because I deserve this <laughs> so yeah that's what's happening that's what's gonna happen this tastes like heaven I haven't been able to eat like this in forever well it feels like forever to me oh my god I'm so nervous I am so nervous but I just gotta mentally prepare myself for the moment. I'm nervous for the labor pains, of course. That's what everyone is scared of, to give birth. I'm scared of that and I'm scared, you know, that my baby will be sick or something, which God willing, she won't. I know that God's got her, God's got me, so yeah. I can't believe this is happening already. We did not expect these news so quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. We saw her in the ultrasound one last time. And then hopefully by the day after tomorrow, she will be in our arms. Happy and healthy and growing and eating and doing everything that she has to do. So... Yeah, okay, I think I shouldn't have moved my camera from where I have put it because now it's gonna be wiggling, trying to fall off. I don't have any, uh, I don't have a tripod for the car because like, I never need one, but I got me some waffle fries with honey mustard, ranch, Oh, some Chick-fil-A sauce because everyone loves Chick-fil-A sauce. Apparently that's something that you, I never go to Chick-fil-A, like ever. Even when, even when I'm not pregnant, I never go to Chick-fil-A. So I'm just gonna have to hold it. Oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to hold it. I never go to Chick-fil-A, so I don't know. I only know what people would like to get from there because of TikTok, literally. I got, I missed my potatoes. So I got, I also got um, some hash browns because I got there three minutes before the lunch was gonna be served and breakfast was gonna be, you know, done with for the day. And I was like, I don't want breakfast, I want lunch. So they said that they could do it for me. And I saw the tater tots and or hash browns and I was like, yes, please, I need some in my life. Oh my gosh. So freaking good and like i said i wanted i wanted lunch so i got the let me see if i can show it without dropping it with one hand the regular deluxe sandwich so i'll try this on camera just because you know i'm already here look at that beauty <laughs> regular bread fried chicken who is she Mm-hmm. 
It's so good. I'm gonna finish eating my food. I'm gonna chug a lot of water after this and then just enjoy my time alone before my baby gets here. I'm so excited and so scared. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.